Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. Stay with us. We'll have all the action for you live right here on EA TV. Hello, great to have you with us. And this is the scene here at the Lusail Stadium, just to the north of Doha. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the technical and tactical analysis, is Stuart Robson. And both teams looking to get off to a flying start here on match day one for them at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's Argentina, and they take on Saudi Arabia. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match. Well, you always feel there's a bit of extra pressure on Argentina going into the World Cup. It's been 36 years since last they lifted the trophy. But can they produce the sort of performances we saw from them in 1978, inspired by Kempes, and in 1986, inspired by Maradona? Well, they were unbeaten in the qualifying group. They've got some top players. They've got a coach who knows how to win games tactically. But they've got a couple of tricky games in Mexico and Poland that they should go through, I think. Firing is in. Delightful start to this match. Just what they were hoping for. Well, here it is again, and he just passed that into the net. That's a very good finish, you have to say. So, underway again here. 1 0 to score. Yasser al shahrani and the emphasis is on creativity really good challenge Martinez Di Maria well it really wasn't a great effort was it Salman al Faraj. And he's fired over the corner. In the right place to cut out the pass. Messi. Well, he was under a bit of stress, but back to the keeper. And unfortunately for him, he had worked his way into an offside position. And I think everybody in the ground could see that was always going to be offside. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. Paredes. Gomez. This looks interesting. Delivered towards Angel Di Maria. Back post. There it is. Two to the good now. And that gives them a buffer. Well, here's the replay, and what a well-delivered cross this is. Perfectly placed, but the finish is far too easy. He doesn't even have to jump. How has he afforded that much space? It's a tidy header, but really poor defending. So the ball rolling again. 2-0 the score. Di Maria. Very quick thinking there. Of look about this. Untidy on the ball. A potential danger here. Di Maria. Oh, he's put it just a fraction wide of the post. Sharahili Abdul Hani Well not quite what he wanted to do with the pass 
Dangerous looking through ball. Martinez. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Sharahili. Yasser Al Shahrani. Another good tackle. And as a defender, you really have to concentrate to the maximum to bar the door as he did then. Well, as you can see, Argentina have found it difficult to control the tempo of the game here. But when they have won it back in midfield areas, their counter-attacking has been excellent. They'll be happy with the way the game's going at the moment. Gets really good without the ball, and the all-around performance levels have been high. Paredes. Gomez. Now Messi. And a goal! Well, as you can see, he's just placed that beyond the keeper. That's a very good finish. Well, this is threatening to get out of hand. Just look at the scoreline. Abdulela Al Amri. Saud Abdul Hamid. Bahebri. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. And they need to get tighter. Can he put it away? That is a tackle and a half. Martinez. Abdullah Madu. Sharahili. Good work from Argentina to win it back. An important interception. Counter attacking very much an option. And you don't want to lose possession there. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding, and he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. Underway again with the score at 3-1. Well, the stoppage time situation, one minute here. Good technique display. Well, as you can see, he doesn't mess about here, does he? He's strong, well-balanced and skillful. That's a top-class finish. That is that for the first half here. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Messi, Messi! Oh, great block. Salem Aldosseri. And he could really get at the opposition. Gomez. Now with Messi. And teammates around him. Martinez, and it might be. Oh, good work to deny the opportunity. Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, the timing was perfect. Ball one. 
Can they create something from here? Well, that's one for them to pursue. And doing all he can to grab his second of the game. Well, he's been a real live wire today. A constant threat to this back line. And still dangerous. Well, it took a deflection. That'll be a corner. And now the delivery. It hasn't come to very much. Well, just the sort of thing we expect from Lionel Messi in the first half, Stuart. Well, it's been an incredible performance from him. Clearly the difference between the two sides. Obviously the goals, but his movement too. He's causing the back line all sorts of headaches. He'll no doubt be desperate to grab the hat-trick now. It needs an accurate cross. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. Making sure it didn't get past him. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Well, it petered out. Martinez. Well, it was so easy on the eye, that counter-attack, but no reward for them. Yeah, it was all good until the final effort. It just shows how devastating they can be on the break, though. Well, we're into the final half-hour. Yasser al Shahrani And a tidy tackle. Well, Argentina have really started to dominate the play over the last 15 minutes. Creating lots of chances now, and you think if they do get another, it's going to be tough for the opposition to find a way back into this. And fail to keep himself onside, unfortunately. Lionel Messi. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. Moving the ball nicely, trying to carve out the equaliser. I just couldn't play that decisive ball. Can they do something positive on the counter attack? It looked like open road for them, but up a dead end. Messi. Chance to finish. Oh, he's found the net. And that increases the advantage to two. Just what they wanted and just what they deserve. Let's take another look, and it's a very good goal. And they deserve it, you have to say. They've been excellent. And into the last 20 minutes. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Saleh al -Shehri. Well, decent save there. Over it comes. Well, no end product. And a decent save. Full credit. High pressing at its best. A very effective challenge put in. Poor pass. Zibala. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Sharahili. Di Maria. Back to Dybala. Dybala! Wonderful challenge, but the chance is still on. Able to get a body in the way. He might yet finish. And a very good challenge. Not showing good vision. 
Di Maria. It's with Dybala. Gives it a go. Well, failure to keep the ball by Argentina. This might be ideal for the counter. Well, that break looked so promising, but nothing coming from it. And based on that challenge, you wouldn't be at all surprised if the referee reaches for his pocket. An unforced error, you've got to say. It's opening up for them. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. And options in the centre. And it's still on. But quick thinking defensively. There it is. The final whistle. Disappointment in the camp. Because it goes into the books as a defeat, Stuart. Well, Derek, they weren't at their best today, both as individuals and as a team. And they didn't deserve anything from the game. Need a much better display next time out.